the defection of Zamfara State uh, Governor uh, Bailo Matawale, uh, who defected from the PDP, uh, to the All Progressive Congress is still generating ripples in the political scene. Key actors in the state are reacting to this development and the implications of the defection. One of them is Senator Kabiru Marafa. APC chieftain and former representative of Zamfara Central Senatorial District in the 8th National Assembly, uh, Senator Kabiru Marafa joins us now from Kaduna. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsnight tonight. Uh, well, let's uh, begin with that uh, seeming rift in the APC as far as you're concerned with the uh, newly announced leader of uh, the APC in Zamfara State. You have rejected him as leader of the APC in Zamfara State. Why? Uh, well, I think uh, I think the crisis is self-inflicted because the position of leader, I think, is just a symbolic something. And uh, because it is not in our constitution, it is nowhere. Uh, APC needs to be a little more careful and more circumspect uh, in respect of the trouble in Zamfara. The people of Zamfara are aggrieved and justifiably so. And uh, now coming to rob salt on injury, I think uh, would be it amounts to asking for too much. Uh, we nurtured this party from inception to date. Uh, we had a rift internal crisis in APC for almost two years that uh, cost us all our positions and everything. Thank God we accepted, we mend the fences, and uh, we are now one. <clears throat> now suddenly somebody is coming to say that he wants to join our party. Fine. Even at that, we accepted. We say, okay, let's sit down and talk. Uh, we ask for not too much uh, uh, from the party. You know, just allow us to consult our people uh, so that we can go with our own. You said no. Uh, you would not allow us to do that. We say, okay, fine. Go and do your ceremony. When you finish, you come back, we sit down. Uh, we want the governor on one side, our people on the other side, then the leadership of the party at the middle. And uh, let us hear, Mr. Governor, what do you want by coming to APC? Then we now hear if it is something we can do, uh, the party would be there at the arbiters. And uh, on our own side, what do we want from the government? We tell them. Now, they promise us that, yes, that is just what they are going to do under the ceremony they are going to go so to conduct is going to be just a symbolic thing. After if they come back, we sit down and uh, discuss this thing. <coughs> Now, Malan Nasir el the governor of Kaduna State, uh, intervened and uh, got this promise from us, and we now agreed. Now, just for the party chairman uh, to go back, or to go to Gusau and announce this thing. Now, let me tell you, <clears throat> the problem here is, it is not, uh, there are some fifth colonists in Gusau that are desirous of, you know, uh, there is an internal fight, kind of, and, uh, to them, they want to see the party dismantled. And they don't care, they can go to any length to get just that. Uh, people just ask me, my la, to make those pronouncements because to them, unless that is done, they are not done. Yeah, uh, good. Uh, uh, let me uh, come in there. How so, true uh, is it that President Muhammad Buhari intervened and made Yeri to attend the Matawale? defection ceremony. Well, why was your group not willing to attend the APC detention, sorry, defection ceremony in Guzo? In Guzo, sorry. Well, you ask two questions, I think, or three at a time. One, why our group, you know, decided to absent ourselves from the ceremony is we felt, you know, having nurtured this party to this level that people you know, in the position of like a governor wants to leave his own party to join our own party. I think it is something that we need to give glory to God, you know, for uh, 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 attaining that fate. Now, we, we were, uh, uh, the, the central government, you know, approached us and told us that, look, uh, uh, the governor of Zamfara State want to join your party and uh, we want you to place work with him. Now, we sat in Abuja, 
we looked at distance and said, okay, fine. If our leaders, you know, are desirous in seeing the governor coming into uh, 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 APC, uh, you see, power belongs to God. So why not? Let us just expand and just accommodate him. Now we agreed, but uh, uh, I know something. Now, the few of us that are in Abuja are not the owners of APC in Zamfara. Uh, the owners of APC in Zamfara are the common men, you know, the, uh, and the women, you know, in our wards, our local governments, and uh, in the state. So we had a very long meeting. After it, we came out, we said, okay, you told us that uh, Mutawala is coming in on Tuesday. But we need time between now and Tuesday, is just five days. And the five days is too in, uh, uh, inadequate, you know, for us to make all our consultations. So please, we are asking for an extension of three days so that we can have meeting on Monday and Saturday, uh, you know, uh, expanded meeting with our people and everything. Now, the leadership of the party says that uh, this Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday date is sacrosanct. They cannot change it. Why? Because Mr. President has already uh, accepted uh, the, the Tuesday. Now, we okay. still went back in the spirit of, you know, accommodation and said, okay, fine, we cannot take decision alone. So go and do your symbolic ceremony. When you finish, you come back, you sit down with us. We need to uh, uh, cross all the T's and dot all the I's. Uh, because we cannot afford to leave anything to chance. Because okay. when you are coming into a party, <clears throat> this thing uh, happened before. Mahmouda uh, Ali Ushankapi, the former governor of the Amfara State, decamped from AMPP to PDP. Now, the argument that time was just simple. Ma uh, a PDP can, has never won any election in the Amfara. And uh, everybody knows in PDP that they cannot win election. So Mahmouda came into... Uh, PDP with uh, government, he came with the money of the government, then he came with the people. Now the story today in Zamfara is different. The APC in Zamfara has the people, we have the resources to win elections. So our question is, what is the government coming into? What are they coming, uh, what are they placing on the table? This is a question that nobody could answer for us. Let them come and tell us. We are joining you, and by joining you, this is what you stand to benefit. This is what we are coming to the table with. This is what you, this is how you make argument. But you are just coming uh, 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 into APC, All right. you know? And uh, somebody is telling us, okay, uh, 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 we have come and we, we dissolve your structures, and uh, we, are, All right. uh, uh, we have appointed somebody your leader. Okay. Uh, no, um, I'm coming. I'm if coming, I may please. come in very, now, very now, quickly. Now, now. Are you saying then that uh, the coming to the APC, the defection of Matawale to the APC, will further exacerbate uh, the crisis within the party right there in the state? And uh, you had also talked about an agreement that was reached, you know, before Matawale, uh, you know, were uh, defected to the party. Exactly what were the agreements with the APC governors. This is what I'm. T <clears throat> this is uh, you see. So based on what uh, I have told you that happened in Abuja, so we now said that we are going to abstain. Uh, then on Tuesday, six governors, I think plus two, six uh, sitting governors and uh, three uh, former governors, all descended or converged you know, in Yari's house and said that Yari must attend this event. Now, Mala Nasir Erufa is the governor of Kaduna State, who happens to be my brother, my friend, my leader, and everything, now phoned and said, Marafa, please, uh, this is the situation, because Yari told them that this is our collective decision that nobody should attend, you, you know, from our own side. So he now said that uh, he was instructed by so-so governors, he named all of them, the six of them, and uh, they are under the instruction of Mr. President that uh, Mr. President wants me and Yari to be in Gusau to receive Mutawale. But he has had all the problems and he sincerely sympathizes with us and he supports us. So please, he wants to me to just do one thing for him. Uh, because the instruction or rather the resolution was Yari, if you attend that ceremony, uh, you are on your own. We are not with you on that. 
So he now said that, okay, we are the ones that are picking Yari to Zamfara. So I want you, because we have more than 600 of our members in Kaduna, we call them to intimate them of the uh, 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 happenings and everything, because all through the five days, there was no communication with the people of Zamfara. So we now invited all of them to come here so that we share with them and we hear from them, because they are the owners of the party, they are our bosses, they are the ones that will take the decision by themselves. So we came up with some options, and we now discuss with them. So Malan Nasir now gave me the guarantee that, okay, Marafa, tell these people that Mr. President instructed that Yad goes to, uh, 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 I should go to Zamfara and attend this thing. While you tell the people that this is the situation. Keep as you soon on as we come back, we when we get back, yes. we'll try some more issues. Yes. Oh, all right, good. We have some more minutes before the break. All right, let yes. me come in with when this question. Back, how is your relations, or how is your relations with former Governor Yeri since the last reconciliation? What's your relationship with the former Governor like? Because he attended uh, the defection, but you never did. My, my relationship with Yeri is very, very friendly and cordial. Maybe people don't know me. I fight for a reason. And when I fight, I fight for that reason. And once there is an amicable settlement and, uh, uh, and, 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 and we agree that this is what we are going to do, now to me, I put everything behind me and I move forward. And this is part of what I told the people that called us. Now for two years I was fighting Yari and Yari was fighting me. Oh, we were fighting together. For two years, nobody came in to say a word to the two of us. Nobody helped me to kill Yari. Nobody helped Yari to kill me. Now, after two years, the party, in its own wisdom, now decided to come in and say, look, my children, come, sit down. What is the problem? They had the problem. They say, okay, we want you to forget everything and come back together. Now, how on earth now would you come at the 11th hour and now tell me to jump ship or leave Yari alone or you tell Yari to leave me and go? You see... There is a common problem, and we want to approach it together. We are together. I have no problem with Yari. What happened? I fought for my right. Yari did something wrong. Maybe I did something wrong, and we fought. And for whatever reason, I think we now have a better understanding. Because they said sometimes, true friendship comes after quarrel. Now, Yari knows who Marafa is, and I think, uh, uh, not I think, Marafa knows who is Yari. So that... Uh, 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 we have no problem okay, with it. We, we so now, get let to me that tell you point. The, it's the good to know of, that you have settled your rift between uh, yourself and Abdulaziz Yari, but there is that perception that the rift between the two of you actually cost the APC all the elections in Zamfara State in 2019. Now that you have this, you know, simmering situation uh, between yourself and uh, Matawali, uh, is this not going to be a repeat of 2019 that could cost the APC in Zamfara? Very quickly. Thank you so much for, th thank you so much for, yeah, thank you so much for this question. And I think this is the question that uh, all right-thinking people should tell two people now. Matawali and the APC itself. Now, Mutawale should learn from experience. APC should learn from experience. I hope APC should be able to learn from the experiences because this trouble of Zamfara, I am telling you, and mark my words, it is going to shake the very, very foundation of APC at federal level. We are not going to fold our arms and allow, you know, our efforts go in vain. Nobody will do that. Now, we have nurtured this party. If you don't have the power to dissolve the government in Zamfara and say, okay, come and share it, you cannot, for God's sake, look at us and say you have dissolved APC in Zamfara State and uh, you have appointed another leader. What are you leaving us with? Who does that? Nobody does that. APC is our house. APC leadership, are, you know, they are our parents. They are supposed to protect interest, our interests, not to jeopardize our interests. So you cannot go to Gusau and just say that you have dissolved party. Okay, you have dissolved party. Are you dissolving the government and telling Mutawala, okay, step aside, then we are going to share your positions? You have not done that. So for God's sake, Nigeria is not a banana republic. People are watching, we are watching, and we are not the kind of people that you can just open eye and just do anything and go away with it. All we right. don't care uh, with what you do at the federal level. Senator but look, Marafa. there are a lot of problems in APC and uh, please, we are asking PD, uh, APC to respect we will keep you on pause. and allow this problem to be solved yeah, amicably. Just, 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 we will just keep you on pause. When we return, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us.
All right, welcome back. We're still with our guests at our discussions on the defection of the Zamfara State Governor and Senator uh, Kabiru Marafa is still very much with us. Before we went on that short break, you were making a point as to the need for the APC, uh, even at the federal level, to learn from the lessons of the past. But now that it seems that Yari did attend, not it seems, he did he attend did. that uh, defection party. Are you not on your own with this uh, stance of yours? that um, Matawale will not be the leader of the APC in Zamfara. Yari, Yari attended the Guso event, you know, uh, 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 with our consent. He went to Guso to attend that thing because of what Mala Nasser Erufa, the governor of Kaduna State, requested us that he is under the instruction of Mr. President to request that Yari uh, be allowed to go to Guso. And uh, when he comes back, now, we are go the, uh, 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 the, the event in Guso is going to be symbolic. Now, when they come back, we are going to sit, you know, side by side, Motawale on one side, Yari group on the other side, with the leadership of the party in the middle, and, uh, and discuss this thing. So, that is what we are waiting for. And that is why uh, Man Nasser Erufa yesterday invited us to the government house, you know, and, uh, 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 and thank our leaders, you know, for accepting his request. Now, after it, he reiterated that position that uh, this is what happened and this is what it, uh, transpired from the president. And he assured our people that our request is going to be looked into in the next, before the next two weeks, because uh, Congresses are going to commence maybe in the next two weeks. Now, <clears throat> Yadi, myself, and uh, Marlon Nasser Erufai all granted interview uh, to BBC yesterday. And we, the three of us, you know, jointly, you know, condemned what uh, the chairman of, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Interim Management Committee, or whatever it is called, of APC, uh, did in Zamfara, because that was not the agreement. The agreement with Maimala, who Mala Nasiru put me on speakerphone, and uh, I spoke with Maimala while they were in the vehicle going to Gusau, that uh, this is just what they are going to do in Gusau, and there will be no such pronouncement as dissolution of the party. Uh, that is what my, uh, uh, Memala said. Now, Arise, let me tell you something that is likely going to happen. <clears throat> you see, as far as I'm concerned, I think APC should learn to leave uh, a, a, a sleeping dog lie. Now, <clears throat> Memala, uh, the chairman of this team, doesn't have the powers under the Constitution to make such pronouncement. That is number one. Number two, now issues will come up. We are going to challenge even the legality of his being uh, chairman of, uh, 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 of APC. When you look at the APC Constitution, Section 17 sub 4, in particular, forbid me my from being the chairman of the party. I have warned, you know, I have alerted Mr. President long time ago that we should be very, very wary of these banana pills because if this thing is pushed to its limit, now, when you push a man to the wall, definitely he is going to fight back. So we are going to ask these fundamental questions when the need arises to do so. That is number one. Uh, number one. Number two, <clears throat> this, the judgment uh, made by the Supreme Court said, APC ought not to have participated in the 2019 elections. What that means is there was no APC at all. Now, I'm asking uh, uh, this question, and I'm asking every Nigerian to tell me, can a man give birth to children that, can a man that is non-existent have children? You can't, you can't. So as far as the law is concerned, now there is no APC in 2019 ballot paper. So APC cannot have a governor, and the APC cannot have senators, and the APC cannot have members of House of Representatives, and the APC cannot have members of House of Assembly by that Supreme Court judgment. So any attempt by anybody to say that he is a governor of APC now, uh, between 2019 and 2023, without reasons of death, maybe resignation, or anything, that is reasons of by-election. You cannot call yourself an APC legislator for God's sake. Nobody can do it. Doing so is a negation of the Supreme Court judgment. You know, it is like arresting the whole... You, you are making nonsense of, uh, of our, uh, uh, our judicial system. So these issues are going to come up. So for God's sake, we have accepted our faith. We are the ones that fought. We lost. And we have accepted that in good faith. Leave us where we are. You don't have to rub it in into us. Doing so will just 
you know, ignite a series of problems that might spell doom to APC. I don't want it to happen. So please, APC, all the emperor people are saying, for God's sake, be fair, be just to us. You cannot come and uh, just... Senator, uh, do you people. think you can make a headway by going against the wish of your own party at the national level by opposing the defection of Governor Bello Matawale into your party? Okay, get, get, get me right. Get me right. One, the Amphara State APC is not opposing the defection of Governor, uh, Governor Matawale. We have all agreed that Matawale should come in. Get me right on that. What we are saying is we want fairness. And what APC is telling us is you are inconsequential lots and we are not going to do anything. We are going to give everything to the PDP defecting uh, side. And that is what we are saying that we disagree with. That is just it. So we are saying that we are a people, we are Nigerians, we have a right, just as uh, Matawala has a right to join any political party he so wishes. We also have a right to go to any party we so wishes. Now, if we choose to stay and wish, uh, choose to accommodate Bello Matawala into APC, what we are saying is we want, you know, an unambiguous settlement because we are tired of problems. We have problems of insecurity in the Amphara State. People are dying every day. Now, we don't want to aggravate the situation. So the only way to do it, for God's sake, is... Now, what we said, this is what we told uh, the APC National, and I want to Nigerians to listen to this. We said, sit Bello Motawale on one side. Sit us on the other side. You sit in the middle. You own... I mean, you are, we are all gentlemen. We know everything. Motawale, what do you want in coming into APC? Uh, Yari, Marafa, and the Olya group, what do you want from Motawale? So let Motawale say his own, we say our own, the new judge. Maybe, let me give you an example. Maybe if Motawale says, I want 70% uh, of your party. Now, the leadership should say, no, I don't, we don't think this is fair. You don't want us to settle. So give them this. Okay, we want this amount or this quantity of uh, uh, whatever positions from your government. This, so, so that once you do that, we play by the rules. Everybody knows us. If we say yes, our yes remains yes. But we don't want a situation where we will go into a marriage that nobody knows his right, nobody knows his privileges, then tomorrow somebody will just, can just say this or that. Now the whole uh, 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 idea of this decampment is just one thing. It is all about 2023. So like I told you, now everybody knows that PDP cannot win election in Zamfara. So that is why they are leaving PDP to come into APC. Now, if you are coming into APC, what value are, go are you going to add to APC? That's the question we're asking. Now, we own the people. We have the lit little resources to win our election. But nevertheless, since you like him, maybe you are obsessed by the idea of having so many number of governors in APC. Fine and good. You are, <laughs> uh, 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 we don't have problem with that one. That is your own problem. So we want a win, win, win situation. That is, you APC, you are obsessed by the idea of having uh, 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 so many number of governors in APC. We are very, very comfortable with that one. So you have that one. Mutawale, you want to win uh, 2023 elections. Okay, we don't have problem with that one either. Now, but right. you should know that we have our own hopes, we have our own aspirations. And uh, when coming into that, we want you to say what, so that we would say, okay, we have agreed with this, we have agreed with it. And anybody that okay. violates any of this... Uh, uh, of his promise. Now we can now shout and say that, okay, so so person is an aggressor. But you All cannot right. just come and stampede us into something that we don't know the, uh, 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 its depths. We cannot just agree. And this is what All we right. are saying. All right. Senator Kabiru Marafa, thank you so much for joining us. Not enough time to ask you exactly what you want. Thank you so much for joining us on News Night.